This is without a doubt one of the greatest collections of Orientalist paintings in existence. The Najd collection really is distinguished by real masterpiece trophy works by the top Orientalists of the 19th century. Although these paintings depict a time and a place over a hundred years ago, there is something very timeless about them. The collector was fascinated by this idea of Western artists discovering the Orient. The Orient, as it was known, referred to the Mediterranean Basin, which gave this genre of painting its name. I think people are drawn to Orientalist art on a number of different levels. The colors of the detail, the light, are just so mesmerizing and so compelling. Jean-Léon Jérôme visited Egypt for the first time in 1856 and was captivated. Riders crossing the desert is of Bedouin men on horseback in the blazing sun and it's very much a symbol of mankind uh, winning over the adversity of nature. A lot of Orientalist painters were captivated by the subject of prayer, Muslim prayer, because it was so different from the Christian prayer that they were used to. Here, Jean-Léon Jérôme has depicted all the worshippers in different positions of the prayer in order to educate, enlighten viewers at home, even though in reality the different positions would have happened in synchronicity. Osman Hamdi Bey is different from all the other artists in the collection in that he came from the region that he painted. The seated figure is in fact the artist himself. He often included himself in his paintings as an insider painting his own culture. What I think is really fascinating about this collection is that it focuses on people. It really is trying to capture the essence of daily life in the region. Market Day in Jaffa really is a fantastic bustling tableau of Market Day in that city. There are fruit stalls, vegetable stalls, all manner of tradesmen and salesmen. So it really is a fantastically busy scene, all bathed in this wonderful Mediterranean light. These works depict a part of the world as it looked a hundred or more years ago, and such a visual record today fills an important place in documenting that part of the world. There are over 20 works by Ludwig Deutsch in the Najd collection. Deutsch actually used a magnifying glass to achieve some of the detail in his pictures. He captures every link in every bit of chain mail, the jewels in the various weapons, the silk costumes, the mother of pearl inlaid furniture, and the decorated masonry. The Naj collection is one of the last opportunities for potential collectors to secure the very best examples of Orientalist arts.